Because when you have to answer yes or no, if something I have to rate 1 to 10, if it is between 2 to 10, I invariably I will say yes. Only you will say no if it is really true. So that is the whole the evolution we have done actually. But yes, on the startups, I would say that the huge variance. But most of the common thing I found, the clarity of thought was with the blinking. This whole model, I mean, most of the times we were struggling to find out what is that you are communicating. Maybe one or two pitches were a bit clear in the st starting point and all the things were But most of the times, it is not sure what you are talking. Because I may have 10 words, all the 10 words not understood, it is better to speak 2 words, 2 words better understood. So that clarity of thought is, I think, is very important to bring in the point. Once the clarity of thought comes, the things will start flowing, the model will start flowing. And the model starts flowing, and the story gets built. The story gets built, the speaking becomes common and very common. So that is the my feedback would be to bring a lot of clarity in what you speak. He's actually stolen my point. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually Ditto. That's true. Also, if you remember anything specific, yeah, 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 their faces, yeah, yeah. that will really help. Sure, sure. So if you yes. do recall something, you, can, you are welcome to come and do that again. Sure. See, th this is something when I agree with them. There, there are few uh, cases. Actually, you know what? Actually, you can point and tell them. They'll be very happy about it. Yeah. Yes. But, okay, the, the, the right. last one first. Okay, LIFO. Okay. The last one first. Uh, in fact, I, I, it, I is the last one on career hunt, right? So if, I was not very clear what is it that you are doing, right? Whether you are from a, the, the clarity didn't come through for me. You know, uh, sitting on I didn't understand what the profit form, formula, what is the business model. Uh, I, I, I was I didn't get it in five minutes. Maybe you have it with you. In those five minutes, I couldn't understand. So which means that you you need to tweak. It's all there. No, it's just but how only it is. five minutes you don't get it. Ninety percent of the opportunities. Yes. Yeah. And another thing, even just to uh, just a quick reminder, whenever we do the pitches, quite honestly, each one of the uh, the guys we're evaluating would have the pitch in advance. So for me, I understand what business you are. I for me, in five minutes, in, I need to quickly understand what you do. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, you don't have the access yeah. to it. Like, you, yeah. you share a PDF about the company, so I can I can do some no, more work. Last time we actually did it. This yeah. time, unfortunately, some of them actually sent one of them sent it today morning. So, <laughs> okay. so, so, but this is an operational issue which probably no, you know, as it someone sitting out here. For me, in five minutes yeah, to understand what you guys are doing from end to end, it's, it's kind of difficult without knowing what what's your background. Yeah. So when there's an issue that we have. Yeah. But that that apart is clarity on the last one presentation. I think the presentation can be tweaked, and as per well, the format they have given is a very nice one. You just need to tweak that and think through that. And uh, uh, okay, the, the, there are uh, you know in most presentations, what I'd like you to do is just go back and ask yourself what are those critical pivots or those points, profit formula in your business, in your respective businesses that can make it or break it. Okay, so you might have a few factors, maybe those two, three factors, you know, those, uh, I don't know the exact word for that, but, but basically those, those points which you'll have to track. Something like if it, it fails, why it fail? Something that doesn't work out, it can crash your business. Maybe just those, those two points, you probably have based your uh, business on certain assumptions. And, and when the assumptions change, you're going to pivot. But sometimes you may just not be able to pivot. You know, it's, it's easy, easier said than done on paper. So those, you need to test those assumptions. There are a lot of assumptions that are being made. So you need to be clear about on the ground, you might have a fantastic product, all tech, etc. You go on the ground, you're going to face some difficulty. Onboarding could be an issue. You say, societies are there. You, you might probably get to the 100 customers, but from the 100 to 1,000, you'll, you'll find it a challenge. So you'll have to think through that. Other than that, I think you will get to the great job. So, uh, yeah, I think that, that's it. The others can share. So, I don't want to take away what the others have got to say. And government job, but I say all these things you need to really sit down and understand. You know, as I said, in five minutes, quite honestly, I didn't get the whole gist of it. Just at a very high level, right? So, multilingual, how large the market is, 40,000, I'll capture 10%, and all that is, you know, and what is the cost of sales? Those are the kind of issues that you might have to think through. Uh, the
cost of sales, for example. And, and whether it is really a scalable model. You know, you're just assuming 40,000. Where are those 40,000? How do you reach them? Are they waiting for you? I mean, how will you convert? How long? What's the conversion time, turnaround time? So these are the things you need to think through. Especially if you're going to be a B2B kind of a thing. I mean, where coaching centers are uh, your customers, I think you might have to think through that. Because even if you look at your revenue, and your cost, you're running a cost of 1.8 lakhs you've mentioned, right? You have, who is it? That's yours? Yes. Yeah. And 2 lakhs per month. So ultimately you need MOA, right? Yes. So when the founders are, you, you need to generate money for yourself also. So at some point in time, it is what we call escalated commitment. Or, uh, you know, basically you need to know, it's, it's like any uh, share broker. You need to know cut loss strategy. Somewhere you can't get so involved in an idea. Somewhere you need to realize that since something is not working, either you tweak the formula, where you find that there's a potential, or you need to take a call and say, let me exit, it's not going to make sense. Instead of doing it after three years, you know, and, and then getting the problem. So you would have to dig into certain things and understand whether it's a scalable model you have. So that, that's my, I could be totally wrong. That's why I'm just high level. And, and uh, simply guess, see, all of you are already generating revenue. The simply guess also, I thought, it's a it's a, it's, a, it's a nice idea, but again, I don't know exactly. That's why I was trying to clarify, is it for shared or is it for... So, I need to understand that to you know, pass this. Because uh, uh, you, somewhere you mentioned two months rent. So, are, are you saying that, you know, uh, the advance, you are sure to, uh, to, the owner gets you two months advance? So, our, uh, our negotiations with owners can... Uh, go into various directions, going to the uh, kind of property they have. So that is what we have, as you were saying, working capital uh, yeah. we require. That is, that is on us. But what we ask from tenant is only two months. They don't have, they don't depend on the variability of our negotiations. So that fund based business. So that fund based thing is something that you need to think about. And if you are already delivering all those services, it's nice to see. And when you say, I'm going to take up all the operational responsibility, I'm a bit scared. You know, so can you do all these things? Are you be supposed oh, to be doing all these things? Be clear, as what is it that one thing you want to position about this and the whole? Yeah, thing. I, I think the two services where maybe I mean we need to think through. Maybe I mean we don't be wrong. I mean, I'm just saying whether you want to, you just have the, those many resources, the strategic allocation of resources in terms of where you want to focus on. It's not that you can't do it. Whether you want, you should be doing that. Sure. So, so that can be like two things. I really like this one bill concept. That was what? Really integrated. Very yeah. integrated. Yeah. 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 Managing, managing all that yeah. in the long yeah. run, yeah. whether it's work, money in time, labor intensive. Concept from different. No, but somebody has to do it. It's really very cool. If there are others who are doing a better job, can you tie it with them? Those yeah. kind of questions, yeah. yeah. So, so for food, we have three housewives who started up as a micro entrepreneur with Simply Guest. Yeah. They are now serving 60, 60 customers. So, that's what I'm saying. Probably you have a stitch. That's what it is. That, that is, uh, that is yeah. the thing. Yeah. The, the, the uh, also, the, the, I, I thought, uh, I was not very clear yeah. in, in that particular presentation, quite honestly, because basically, I was not very clear what is it that you're doing. Uh, what I understood is you're selling the product. You're selling that it's a capital intensive thing, you're selling that uh, it's a device. Device. The device it's a capex kind of a thing. And then the service part and where you're actually getting the money, who exactly that we need to actually spend time to understand things. So for me the five minutes I could not understand very clearly uh, all those details. Uh, but otherwise I guess uh, again that's a it's a nice product, but actually selling it on the ground doctors and to you know, hospitals and right, it's a tough. first thing we are doing it for insurance company. Insurance company. It's already been a hospital. Yeah. So someone uh, yeah, one, right. one is having the device, yeah. another one other one thing is using it, you know. It's like this SAP is you have the small mm -hmm. medium company buying the software and telling everyone I have the SAP but no one uses it. And so so the moment we have a device we like to have a the setup of practice. Yeah. And on top of that we have a pyramid of service. Yeah, so I'm sure you're very clear. The science, I cannot understand that. So, if I can add, maybe you could have brought a sample of that device. Yeah, photos. People wearing it. There are two things on this. One is electronics. What I have only created. There is a cradle which we are going to print in next two months. This is going to print it. No, one printer. It's 
So ideally, he is a little early from the pitch yeah. point of view. He doesn't have a problem as it is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's right. Is that, that is a mock up. No, so our core competency is into the competency. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we want to provide this as a virtual kit, which should be embedded in the device. Okay. okay. Sure. So over you press the button, you will have a pre installed VA conferencing example. Yeah. So, from the, I think from the pitch perspective, it was not clear to me. Uh, maybe in the five minutes, right? Yeah. So, it's just a, maybe that it's all there. So I'm trying to accommodate my <laughs> creativity and then there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 outsell, uh, I don't really remember what outsell was about. Sales, sales, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. The, the football. Yeah. 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 Y
uh, I may be, uh, I mean, few steps behind because you are a serial entrepreneur and uh, once in that business. Uh, but uh, it was not very clear for uh, where the money is going to come from, who is going to pay, even in terms of insurance companies that you want to go. If I am over 50, uh, I will be reluctant to have your device put on me because indirectly my premium will go up because I am having... It's not use insurance company, sales guy will come. I know, whoever comes in. Uh, impact is free. If impact is me, my premium goes up. But so. this is necessity now. Uh, you got bypass with the whole data. There's so many complications, right? Yeah. And they will do this pointing because they have standard incentive policy. Mm -hmm. If you do check up regularly, mm -hmm. you will use the policy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that part was uh, was not uh, yeah, so this very clear. And uh, you did talk about expansion in the tier one and tier two. Correct. Uh, that was still medicine for rural yeah. areas. Correct. Correct. So those parts were interesting. Those parts were interesting because there's a dire need for uh, having that. In the other three, I think all the focus has been around learning or teaching. Uh, in all of these, right? So I don't know if there is a uh, means for you guys to collaborate and see if there are uh, uh, synergies that you can exploit. Because uh, beyond that, I didn't have any other comments. Because everybody else has talked about specific uh, uh, feedback. But since all come from different platforms and all address learning in some way or teaching in some way or the other, is there a way to collaborate with what I was thinking? I think the completed analysis in terms of specifically providing that data yeah. is uh, really required. Like in case of Correct. take the job or mm -hmm. that particular venture. I think that is where actually you make that you know thin line of difference of decision. Mm -hmm. So to to compare. So uh, like uh, I, I was struggling to compare. With respect to I think that's a common thing everybody has talked about. Yeah, uh, quickly I because, went to the uh, extent of uh, entering UP because I, I understand the North bit pretty well. So quickly I went there and I, I tried to get those figures correctly. So the data was missing there. Yeah. So uh, I think most of them made a point. If you look at, uh, you can go up on uh, online and find out what pictures that are being made, right? There are many companies who put out their pictures and they are. I mean, they use five slides, five crisp slides, and then graphically, visually conveying what you want to convey rather than the ton of words that were used here. So that would reduce the verbosity, I think. Yeah. yeah. My only point is not specific to any one company here, but uh, when you're talking about numbers, this is what I've achieved, this is what I'm going to achieve. Probably a slide. Or a couple of pointers of what are the kind of marketing activities that you want to achieve, what are the kind of investment you need there, or what is the kind of help you want. It's something that you need to look at. Another way to another way to actually present uh, something interesting is just you do a use case. Run run us through a use case so that I understand what what is the customer need, what is he what does he want, why does he approach you, what is the what is that we get make it easy. And it's easy for me to relate to it. And so I know, oh, this is a, this is a use case. See, uh, there's a startup pitch event run by Government of India. I'm part of the jury. Applicants are 1,600. Right? <coughs> First level is 1,600. So they get disqualified, rejected only by the document you send. It doesn't matter. It's just papers. Right? And who does that for you? Believe it or not, they are not entrepreneurs who does the first level screening. So, most of you will get lost, however great your ideas are. Okay, and the second level, perhaps it comes to entrepreneurs, perhaps. Okay, and there it comes to 600. So, 1600 has already come down to 600, and 1000 has been removed by people who have possibly, potentially could have been your employees. <laughs> No, but that's the reality, right? So you've got to get your, sorry? Yeah, so you really have to get that part. So after that 600, it comes down to 50. So people may be entrepreneurs still, but again, you will never have an opportunity to explain what are you trying to say in that page. Right? So you really have to think, 
12, 15 pages that you put, what is it going to be? And how are you going to get connected? With it? And okay, this is with the government, so that's okay. But if you again come down to other pitches like this, where you actually get investors happening. See, uh, we have been very luxurious with the kind of time we have. We will not have so much experience. Sometimes we just sit with and there are 10 pitches one after another, quick, 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 quick. And you won't have that mind share. See, you just realized, right, that we agreed that after everybody finishes, we come back and it's already gone. So imagine there are 10 and you have to do, and we will have some glitches in evaluation too. So, but here I'm writing, right, uh, one very important uh, you know, Potentially, I was preparing a you know, uh, generic model, but the moment I saw that, presentation format, there was no mentioning about the uh, real cameras. All this information was not there. So I thought probably I have to stick to that format, that's why we put it in. Oh, uh, see we, uh, like I made yeah. mentions that this is clearly... There's no real cameras, there was no... No, business cameras. You're referring to the business cameras. No, we didn't give the template. You got to pick the template. I really take the latest one. I can share it with you if you want. No, I, I know that. But what yeah. I'm trying to say is that... No, no, no. We have, slides, we have so. given that. See, this is a standard template from the point of what investors look for. So you can capture the business canvas within that. Because like, likewise, there was no mentioning about early adopters, what are the channels. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Basically, in five minutes, you need to pick the show. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you really need to pick what is your story. See, first of all, if you look at it, uh, you need a story to connect with, right? If you can bring in a connecting story, a customer use case, right? I mean, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a very powerful way to do it. Uh, your business, you could say that this is a tenant and this is the landlord, right? And in your case, see, your problem is that it's a little too early from that because you may be what to way too different when you are actually out with the product itself because you still don't know what is the insurance company is going to say to you with that. No, we would just like to make the water for business. Oh, so no, this is how we all would love it, right? Every product I made, I thought this is what you would love it. But when you go in front of him, it's a different thing. No, so we are putting it in a reverse way. They have given an idea. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, no we will catch up again after you get that insurance company. We will again talk. <laughs> but the point is that, see, uh, I'm just trying to make is that if you have five minutes, which is still a luxury, because a lot of times you don't get that much of time also from a pitching point of view. So it's very important to get one story through. That story which connects what I am trying to do, how am I going to make money, how am I solving my customer's problem, and why is he happy to pay me? You lose your customer. If that is true, it becomes a lot easier, and then you put all the numbers. And I really, all the time you spend is trying to get that story together. Otherwise, it's going to be. See, we're just having too many. It's a different kind of problem. Earlier, there we didn't have so many uh, people putting the money. Today, you have so many people putting the money, but there are that many more people who want the same money. Thank you. I think time. Time. Yeah. Let's go break for yeah, coffee. I think she had a point. Yeah. Sorry, I just want to add three points. One is, uh, I think you the simple words would help. Like there were a lot of technical words which we were not able to get through. Uh, so it was not coming out as a sentence, but it was just coming out as a set of words. Maybe it meant the product direct, but then it didn't help a lay person understand what the product was. Second, sorry, from a presentation point, the font sizes and colors and different sizes, different colors is a little too much to process on one slide. And third point, either there should be words on the slide and you do minimum talking, or maybe you keep minimum words on the slide and you do the talking because it's getting it is getting a little difficult to read what and then still follow what you're saying because you essentially though there was a repeat of what you were saying on the slide while you're talking it was a little difficult to follow both because all of that was text heavy slides so these were the three points that I thought. Uh, I could actually rehearse it helps. I think one of the presenter was actually saying something which was the following slide. Yeah. After you finished, you got that slide up. So it helps to rehearse. I think from in the previous session. Yeah, from an attendee's perspective, I might not be knowledgeable as I am. But the thing is, uh, if I was an investor, the only thing, uh, only two startups what I understood was M and Simply Text. So the is, uh, um, 